Yeah, my name is Hoyne. I'm a consultant psychiatrist. I'm editor of Global Psychiatry Archives. And I wanted to report a paper from India, from Carr and his team. And it's about media reporting of suicide notes from two Indian states. And they look at the content of these suicide notes. They have about 620 or they have 625 news reports and 11% contain the suicide notes. And these suicide notes, usually, according to the WHO recommendations, should not be mentioned. Reason being that if people um, report about suicide notes, then it can be very embarrassing for the family. But also the, the, um, the uh, suicidants who have killed themselves might have given justification for suicide, and these things might then encourage other people to uh, follow or do suicides on their own. Right, so these suicide notes had direct quotes from suicide notes in 26%. 26% is too much. They uh, had summaries of the suicide notes in 60%. And luckily, and that's what, uh, the good part of the practice is that there's no photos of the suicide notes. They made reference to other persons in the suicide notes, and they were talking about shame and blame and other attributes of suicide. So these type of reporting, as I said, can be very embarrassing, and they can um, motivate other people. And in this respect, the reporting of suicide is not appropriate according to the WHO guidelines of reporting suicide. So the practice uh, of reporting suicide is sadly not as it should be. Thanks for your interest, and I hope you um, are interested. And if so, just um, subscribe to our channel.